I remember your quote. You talked about we can't give up on the issues of gods and guns, and I forget what your third thing was, uh, maybe church or God, gun, something else. But you're talking about we got to go to rural America and start winning there, too. We had yesterday on the show Governor Bashir, and he talked like every Democrat in my region used to talk when Democrats dominated the Deep South dominated even you know the border states like Kentucky and West Virginia and uh, did it up to 10 15 years ago and I sat there thinking oh gosh you know those were those were guys that you just couldn't beat in the south when you weren't running too far left on guns on God on abortion on all of these other social issues can the Democratic Party ever <clears throat> have a big enough tent to have people who are progressive on economic issues and conservative on social issues in their party again? No, because the young generation isn't that way. The, the, I think the old left-right is, is uh, an anachronism. It exists in Washington. It exists in the media. Young people don't think that, that way. They're not ideological. They're extremely interested in social justice, so we're never going to go back to maybe making compromises on abortion and all these guys. Gay rights is another one. Uh, but they're, they're <laughs> so, more concerned. So, you, they're don't, more so conservative. you don't want a Democrat in your party if they're for social justice, <clears throat> if they're progressives, if they agree with you on 90 percent of the issues? Issues, but they're also practicing Catholics who are pro-life. You don't want them in your coalition? No, no, I, Joe, I didn't say that. What I said Sounded was... Like it. Okay, maybe it did to you. What, what I, what and I, the rest of America. What I said... <laughs> what, what I, well, the rest of the America that you're interested in... Look, the younger generation voted 58% Howard, for... I'm talking about Democrats winning. You guys have lost 1,000 seats nationwide. 50% of Americans, or maybe 40%, are pro-life. Why throw them away if they agree with you on 90% of the issues? Joe, I'm not talking about throwing anybody away. If you let me get my statement out, I'd be happy to tell you what I'm talking about. There is no left-right divide among young people. The younger generation, which is now the largest generation in this country, voted 58% for Hillary Clinton. They didn't turn out. They don't turn out for down-ballot issues. They don't turn out for off-year elections. The key here is not to move to the right or move to the left. The key is to energize <clears throat> these voters if you want to win, if you're a Democrat, because they believe in social justice and they're more conservative economically than the Democratic Party Can the is. Democratic, so if there's a